I'll use the next one here. Hold that one. This one. I'm gonna come back inside and stay warm. They're very sensitive to the temperature, obviously. This is a little boy, very little boy. Oh, sweetheart. Now, normally I would have them wrapped in a double layer of fleece even while feeding them. Okay, little bitty point, little bitty mouth with the two meat. You'll be able to feel it going just a little bit. You just want to go, and they're this tiny, truly trying to get it into their stomach. is very possible and doable, but I just, to give these babies a chance, I prefer not to put down in there through all those tender tissues. The thing about these tiny tubes is they are, I wish you could see that. I can't do bigger on this. But you can see her sucking. You can see her little mouth go up and down as she's trying to, as she's swallowing. And he, excuse me, this one's a boy. Look at this. Oh, those precious little feet. Look at them. You wonder why I call them precious souls. I mean, they just are. like they would need on little mama. Uh, the reason for uh, normally keeping them in uh, fleece even when feeding is number one, so you don't hold them too tightly and cause bruising, and number two, to help them keep in their body heat while they're away from the supplemental heat that they normally need. So if you're going to be going all the way down to their belly, the measurement is to take it. Let's go like this, measure from their belly, where, where you think that little esophagus, esophagus would be, and right there, which is about uh, three and a half centimeters, this one. That would take it all the way down. And if you're going to be doing that, extend the head up a little bit um, so you don't have so much of an angle. That would be my, and you would just be going in and you'll, if you feel a give, if you don't feel it go straight in, you need to stop when it gets near the back of the oropharynx because otherwise you run a real risk of uh, damaging those tissues and then they have no chance whatsoever. Really, only about 10% of them will survive at this age. And that's with every hour and a half, two hour feeds around the clock. Um, they'll be getting the diluted Pedialyte for the first few feeds until they see their peeing clear. And they've gotten any poop out that might be in there. Pinch the tube, whether you go in a little or a lot, you always pinch the tube before you come out. It's just a standard procedure. And see about body. And you need to keep them uh, at a good, you know, 94 degrees or so. And it needs to be very humid because obviously that's what the mama's pouch condition is. And 
after I go, when I go back to give them their antibiotics, I will be putting coconut oil on them. That is a good way to help hold in a little bit more of the heat. Okay, there's our next little baby. 